there, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your September monthly astrology. It is action packed and it's full of cosmic opportunities to transform and to fling ourselves forward towards our destiny. Okay, Mercury is retrograde, going retro shadow from the fifth. And actually, by the end of the month, we have seven planets going retrograde. So there's more work to do from the past and to heal our wounds. But these amazing opportunities to discover not only how to transform our present, but how to reach our future goals. Amazing. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey, gorgeous Leo. You are working very hard towards securing a future where you can be the regal and fabulous, relaxed, wonderful being that you are. And there's a lot of good vibes this month. Okay, Mercury is going retrograde and is in retro shadow from the 5th of September, making things slightly tricky, but not if you keep your paws on the ground and look around to make sure you're taking care of all the details. Get to appointments early, double check your emails to make sure and your texts to make sure you're sending them to the right people, etc, etc. But there's a lot of uplifting energy for you at the beginning of this month and you're determined to evolve, to grow and to find the right people and the right collaborations that are going to work for you. Now, it all kicks off with a lovely incredible mystical day on September the 3rd that gives you the inspiration you need to dig deeper and find out not only what work you want to do, but how you can bring in your spiritual happiness into your day-to-day -day reality. You are not the sort of person that wants to be miserable in your job or unhappy or just living for the moment you can have a holiday. And it's like you could have an emotional or inspirational spiritual breakthrough around the 3rd of September where you get the answer that you've been looking for. Also on that day, Mercury is trying the North Node. The North Node is about where we're going and what we're evolving to. There's a very important conversation around the 3rd of September which could change many things for you and open up your life so that you can grow and you can feel more fulfilled within yourself. So really pay attention on the 3rd of September. Now, the new moon on September the 7th is in your abundance and security zone. So it's a chance for you to start again in some way. It may be that you have to be a little bit more honest with yourself about where you're expending not only finances, but your energy and start again and go, right, this is it. I'm having a fresh start. I'm thinking about my abundance, my security, and I'm going to really... Be honest with myself about the things that I need to change. Now, because this new moon is trying Uranus, the planet of surprises, trying is a good thing, there may be a new offer of a job or a tweak you could make to your career. And it's through your confidence, because the sun is also trying Uranus, and it brings about a really good result for you. So that's all happy days. Venus, the planet of love and abundance, is going into your home and family zone, making you from the 10th of September want cosy times, want to mix with the people you consider your fam, wanting you to sort of have that intimacy with the people that you love. And also, you're, if anything's off when it comes to your home, anything that needs changing, you, you'll be like, oh, I've got to get this done. You want to feel cosy wherever you are. And Mars, the planet of action, is making you very talkative, potentially very argumentative from the 15th. I would say just make sure you've got your facts right before you start arguing because Mercury is in retro shadow. Sometimes we can jump to conclusions. So yes, it's great that you've got a lot of passionate things to say. Make sure you're saying it to the right people. Now, the full moon is a very primal one. You might have intense feelings on that full moon around the 20th. Look out for if you get hijacked by jealousy, obsession, desire, power. Look at it. Where's that coming from? Have you been blocking your vulnerability, for instance? If we block our vulnerability, it can lead to us feeling extreme emotions. You're also likely to have a very intense emotional connection with somebody on that day. But is it real or are you just feeling overwhelmed by emotions that you've pushed down? Certainly, it's very intense. It's an opportunity for you to come into your power and understand your own power and, in fact, reclaim your power if you've given it away. 
Mars, the next day, is trying the North Node. So you have the energy, the power and the passion to head towards your goals. And you're feeling much more connected to the whole. If you've been feeling sort of isolated and lonely, a bit out of the flow, you should be feeling back to it by then. The sun is shifting signs and going into Libra, making you chatty, flirtatious. Your mind is really, really razor sharp. So it's great for writing, communicating, all of that jazz, anything to do with communication. Now, there's big news on the 26th. Well, we have the sun in Libra trying the north node. North node is about our destiny, remember? And then we have a grand air trine. A grand air trine opens us up to ideas and is very, very positive for communication, even though we have Mercury retrograde. And for you, you're pulling things together. The whole of this month, actually, has something important for you about who you mix with, who you collaborate with, who you mingle with. But it should be a much more sociable month than ones you've had for a while. Now, actually, Mercury goes fully retrograde on the 27th, along with six other planets. So lots of people, situations, thoughts and, and work needs to be done on the past. Things from the past tend to reappear around this time. But you've got to decide, you know, is this going to be an instant replay of what I've already experienced? Or how can I heal, transform and change this? Take care, gorgeous. And I'll speak to you soon. Don't forget to come visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L, and on Facebook where I do lots of lives and you may even get a live tarot reading from me individually, Michelle Knight, astrologer, and of course my website, michelleknight.com, if you want a reading with one of my fabulous psychics. So much love to you.